hello, good evening. I'm Steve uh, from UCAN English Tutoring. Today I have received a request uh, from a nurse um, and I'm going to assess her letter word by word and provide the feedback against each assessment criteria and then the overall score for her letter. Let us jump onto it now. So you have written down the addressee's contact details on the top, that is fine. But before the designation of the addressee, you should provide the in front of that. So you shouldn't write social worker, but you should write the social worker, okay? That is one of the mistakes. So instead of writing down social worker, you should write the social worker. Okay, that's one of the mistakes. Um, let's go to the next one. And you have written on the, okay. So you have written on again, Cambodian social worker. Why did you write this? You shouldn't write, uh, you know, one of them. You shouldn't write one of them, of course. You shouldn't do that, okay? You should write down maybe the, you know, the social worker's contact details. I mean, where she works and the address of, uh, you know, her organization, okay? So that could have been done, uh, but this is not needed. Okay, Cambodian, it's like Cambodian. Can you please spell this? Is it a C-A-M-B-O-E-M? O-E-M-D-I-A-N. Cambodian, okay. I don't know what it is, but that's wrong, okay? So you shouldn't have, Cambodian social worker, isn't it? So that's wrong. So remove this phrase, remove the whole phrase, okay? You should remove from here, all right? Let's go to the date. Date is okay, but date could have been written down in a different format, okay? Instead of writing down 27 dot, okay? It's dot zero seven dot one nine sixty two, isn't it? Is that the one? Uh, is it 92, 92 sorry 92 so instead of writing down in this form okay what you could have done is you could have written down like this okay so 27 slash 07 slash 1992 or um, you could have written on 27 July 1992 okay so this one is more preferred this one is good Instead of this, you could have preferred this one, but this both are acceptable, okay? Instead of writing on dot, it's better to write on like this, okay? Let's go to the next one. All right, you have written on dear madam, okay? When you have received the addressee's full name, it's better to write down the addressee's name here in the salutation, instead of writing down dear madam, okay? So instead of writing down dear madam, you should have, you should have mentioned dear and then, What's the surname? I think it's Tron, isn't it? Dear Tron, T-R-A-N, right? So dear Tron, okay? And then there should be a comma, all right? Let's go to the next one. <clears throat> all right, uh, once we have done that, you have written on the reference details of the patients, that is Mrs. Gai Hong Chung, 40 years, okay? It's not 40 years actually, that's wrong. You should write down like this, okay? 40 years, that's wrong. You should have written down like this, 40 hyphen years hyphen um, old, okay? This is what you should have written down. Okay, sir. All right. I'm writing regarding Mrs. Goi Hong Chung. You don't need to write down the patient's full name once again, if you have written down here for the first time already. You just need to write down the surname, that is Mrs. Chung. Okay, Mrs. Chen. And unfortunately, you have misspelled the name. Can you see this here? It's C-H-U-E-N-G. But here, here you have yes. it on C-H-U-N-G. That's wrong. E is missing here. So, Mrs. Okay, was it? No. Mrs. Okay. Guy. Okay. Mrs. Guy. Hong. Hmm. So you have written on Chung only, but that's wrong. So you should write Mrs. Chung. I think that's the one, okay? Yes, sir. So you should um, write down only Chung. Yeah, that's right. Uh, okay, I'm writing regarding Mrs. Um, Chung who recently discharged from hospital uh, and requires psychological care and support for further management, okay? 
All right, so when you write down this, okay, I'm writing regarding that's fine, who recently discharged from hospital, that's okay. You have to say, you have to write down this one maybe in the next sentence, okay, and request is wrong, okay? Yeah. So what you should have done is, and request, okay, should have been, you know, you should have started a new sentence. She requires, okay, you should have started like this. She requires, okay, and that's good. She requires psychological, that's fine, care and support for further management, that's good. I'm happy with that. On 10-7-1992, okay, let's say, it's 10 7. Okay, here the date is 27. That's okay. That's all right. Um, but instead of writing down this way, it's better to write down. Okay, let me write it down here. On 10 7 on 10 7 1992. You should have mentioned like this on 10 July. If, if, the events are occurring in the same year. You don't need to mention the year again and again. You can mention on 10 July, that's it. Or on the 10th of July. All right. And then there should be a comma. You didn't place a comma. You, you should have placed a comma. Mrs. Chung was admitted to hospital. It's not admitted in hospital, but admitted to hospital. All right. Admitted in hospital. That's wrong. Admitted always goes with the two oh, yeah. yes this letter i written the day before okay and i today i watching your video and you see that they are admitted mm. to this yeah okay mm -hmm. all right uh admitted to hospital and delivery no no that's wrong okay and delivered okay so you should have used the same verb form so you have used the past participle form or the past rule, past tense okay so whatever you have done you have to use the same thing and delivered okay so you should have mentioned and delivery um that's wrong and delivered okay and delivered a, a baby it's not four kilogram baby that's wrong Four kilogram baby. Mm, so you should have mentioned a baby, okay? Um, and delivered a baby. With the baby, okay, by lawyer segment cesarean section surgery okay section okay you can say section itself is okay you don't need to mention cesarean section itself is a surgery you don't need to mention surgery over there yeah. <clears throat> so okay. section surgery surgery can be removed okay and the weight can be mentioned in the next uh, sentence okay at, at the time of birth the baby's weight was four kilogram okay you could have mentioned it in the <laughs> next sentence i mean we you know the first thing we need to worry about is not committing any grammatical mistakes, okay? If you cannot fit everything in one sentence, it's okay to write it down in the second sentence, all right? So okay. section surgery. Instead of that, you need to write down section only, that's it, okay? So surgery can be removed. All right. <clears throat> Emergency, sorry, what's this? Can you, can you please tell me? Emergency? Emergency surgery was conducted. Uh, okay, due to okay, emergency surgery was conducted due to in in what is this? Can you tell me that in coordinate contraction of uterus? In coordinated, uh, is that in coordinator? Contraction of uterus, okay, in con okay, all right, yep, yeah, of uterus, okay, yeah, that's fine, and inadequate outlet, okay, that's all right. Um, hair and child's condition no where stable that's wrong no 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 that's wrong okay okay so what you could have done is okay this is somewhat different okay difficult hair and child health condition okay where 
Okay, so what you could have done is, okay, you could have started by saying the health condition, the health condition of both the baby and the mother was, and then you can say stable or normal or whatever you want to say, okay? The health condition of both the baby and the mother was normal, okay, was stable. Whatever you want to say, you can tell that that's okay. And where is wrong, okay? And uh, discharged, okay, he said, and discharged, all right? And, you know, if you change this subject, then you have to say, and discharged is wrong. You should have mentioned, and they were discharged, okay? And again, don't say, um, don't say 27, okay? 27 is when, okay, let me go through the date. Is that 27? A week ago, okay? On 27, on 20, 1992. It is always important that you transfer the dates in times of the references of time, okay? In terms of the time references, which means, you could have mentioned a week ago, okay? Instead of saying, so you need to represent the information in a clear manner, okay? You can't just use the same dates again and again. If it is applicable, please use that a week ago, two weeks ago, after one week, after one month, after two months, after three months, after a year and so on. Do you know what I mean? Instead of writing you know, on a particular date or, you know, July next year, you know, do you know what I mean? So that's not good, okay? Again, on 1991, okay, remember that year never goes with on, no. On 1991, that's wrong. I will tell you why, okay. On 1991, no, it is actually in 1991, okay. And then there should be a comma as well, you didn't place. Where can we use on? Well, on can be used with a particular date or day, okay, for example, on Friday, okay, that's good. On um, 20, 21st of July 2012, for example. I'm just giving an example only, okay. On Christmas, yes, yes on particular date and day and occasions, you know, you can use those things. Christmas, okay, sorry. Christmas, on Christmas and so on. But in can be used with the year, okay, all right. So this is wrong, okay. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, so in Mrs. Ching was moved from, what is this? Can you tell me this? Is it Vietnam? Vietnam, uh, Vietnam, Vietnam. to us too. Uh, Vietnam, it's not Vietnam, spelling mistake. So can you, can you please spell the words? Is that V-I-T-N-C-N-U-E-U-M. E-U-M, okay. There's no country like this. <laughs> It's actually Vietnam. So you want to write down Vietnam, right? Is that the one, Vietnam? Mm. So Vietnam is different from Vietnam, all right? Okay, to Australia. Uh, with her husband and three children, that's okay. Her husband works in factory. In factory? No, in a factory. In factory? No in a factory, all right? You need to use the articles properly, like a, an, and the, need to be used properly, okay? okay. And she is learning English at night school? No, at a night school. At night school? No. At a night school. Okay? All right. She once worked hard. No. They had worked. She once worked hard. She worked hard. Mm. She worked hard. You don't need to use she once worked hard. She worked hard to manage. No. To manage. To manage. No. To manage. To manage family. Um, to manage family, what is it? Commitment. Commitment. Okay, that's good. Yes. However, there should be a comma. Is there a comma? Did you place a comma here? Yes, sir. 
okay but i couldn't see it clearly so is that the one i think so however due to the language language barrier there must be a comma did you place a comma here after barrier no sir due to then it's wrong due to the language barrier okay place a comma after barrier okay all right you have to do that uh, language barrier she was unaware about her unaware goes with off it's not about unaware or aware always goes with the off mm. unaware of or aware of you can use both of them i mean both of them goes with off only that's what i wanted to say okay okay sorry all right let's go to the next one she was unaware of her um, oh she was unaware of her the operation and managing no 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 this is wrong she was unaware of her operation okay so don't use her and the operation together they are they are the same thing you have to use one of them only not both of them her operation is okay so remove the on managing for uh, new chair she was unaware of her um, operation and management of a new child managing a new child okay sorry management of her new child okay that's correct all right therefore again there's a comma therefore needs a comma placement of punctuation marks is one of the critical factors if you commit many mistakes okay therefore um she is depressed you know you have mentioned something you know in the in the past here she was unaware of and then now you are saying she is depressed is it the the current condition now Yes. Or yes, was sir. it already finished? If the surgery was already finished, or if she is suffering from depression even now, then this is correct. Okay. Yes, sir. Unplanned. She's wrong. Okay. All right. Unplanned surgery. That's wrong. Unplanned surgery. Surgery. Look at this. Unplanned. It's not unplanned surgery. That's wrong. And then the way you write you sounds to be a. capital letter which is wrong you have to put one here as well you know one you know one line underneath so this is wrong it would be it could be highly appreciated now it could be no 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 that's wrong it could be highly appreciated no. it would be greatly appreciate it okay don't use could be but could be means there is an uncertainty i mean you will you will appreciate or not it doesn't know you may or may not appreciate uh, the address which is not good right if you say yeah i may or may not appreciate if you give good care i will i may appreciate you if you don't give good care i may not appreciate you <laughs> so it doesn't look good isn't it so you have to use it would be greatly appreciated okay it would be greatly yes sir that is more formal All right. If you could arrange someone to translate, um, Mrs. Chun language. No, no, no. Translate the information. Translate. If you say translate, okay, Mrs. Chun language. Okay. It means it doesn't make sense. Okay. So what you should have done is, if you could translate the information to. Her first, first language. All right, that would be much better. Okay, <clears throat> for effective communication, to find out her mental status. Okay, that's good. Additionally, all right. Let me go to the next page. Additionally, um, it will be grateful. Okay, this grateful is wrong. i don't know why yeah. but many people uh, commit mistakes in this one it's not this grateful there is no word 
There is no word that starts with the G R E A T F U L. There is no word at all. You have to use this one, grateful. Okay, I mean, you you are going to thank the patient. Um, I'm I'm thankful to do something. Okay, I'm grateful. Okay, so that's how you, you need to write down. So that's a spelling mistake, and it's not good. Um, it would be grateful, and again, it will be grateful. Instead of that, you can say it would would be grateful. Okay, all right. And it's another one. Okay, so will be can be replaced with the would be. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next one. If you assist her family financial problem, no. If you assist her in okay. If you assist her in family's financial problem because they haven't relatives. No, no, no. That's wrong. Okay. Let's say. Let's go through them one by one. Uh, it would be grateful if you could assist her to overcome their financial problems. Okay, if you assist her, assist her family's financial problems. Okay, instead of that, if you assist her to overcome her, uh, or you can say her um, her financial problems. Okay, that's all right. All right, and then because they haven't uh, relatives to supporting them, that's wrong again. Because they do not have, they haven't. Okay, remember they that do they do not have. Okay, you should not write down the contractions. Do you know what is my contractions? I mean the words with the apostrophes in between. So these are incorrect. You should not do that. No contractions are. Allowed in uh, letters. Okay, no contractions are allowed. I mean, this apostrophe is okay. You can't say that you have to write in full. I mean, write the words in full. You have to say have not, have not. Okay, again, have not is an incorrect, uh, you know, phrase in this case because it is grammatically incorrect. Anyway, that's a different story. But you should not write down this one. Okay, families. Okay, that's different. Okay, it is belong to them. That's okay. But this is different from them. Okay, these two things are two different things. Haven't, you know, it can be expanded like have not. But families' financial problem is the same thing. You know, you can't expand family. There is no other word between family. I mean, y and s. So that is fine. This is all right. The first one is okay. But this one is wrong. Okay. All right. Uh, in case of in case, okay, supporting them. Okay. All right. Um, having relatives to supporting them. Okay. To supporting them. No. To support them. Okay. Let's go to the next one. In case of any queries. Okay. All right. In case you have written on in one word. That's wrong. It has got two words. In space case. Okay. Spelling mistake. Yeah. Mm. In case of any queries, okay. Queries. It's better to use questions. And then there should be a comma. So in case of any questions, comma, please do not. Do not is not one word. Do not, no. Do, space, not. Okay. Mm -hmm. Please do not hesitate to contact me. Okay, you were sincerely, there should be a comma. Okay. There are so many mistakes, but that's okay. I mean, don't worry too much because this is your first letter and you haven't got any feedback from anyone else. Okay, so, um, I mean, it's not that bad, okay? It's all right. You, you just started learning a new language. Community health nurse. Okay, let's go through this. Community health nurse. You could have written on the community health nurse. Okay, that's it. So you have committed. So inputting which letter, sir? Yes, you can. You you have to write on the article. Yes. <laughs> Feedback for your OET letter. Okay, let's go through this. All right, what are the assessment? This is the word by word feedback. Okay, that's the first thing. And then the second thing is 
I will tell you what areas you need to focus on. Okay, grammar is one of the major areas you have to focus on. Okay, because you have committed so many grammatical mistakes. Grammar is one of the key areas of improvement. Okay, particularly the use of nouns, verbs, uh, prepositions, articles and punctuation marks was not up to the mark, okay? Sorry. Not up. Okay, was not up to the mark. That's one of the major mistakes. Okay, next one is spelling. Spelling is another area of concern, all right? So you didn't, you didn't place many words uh, with the correct spelling, okay? That's not good. For example, Vietnam and, and so on, okay? All right, and uh, what else? Okay, let's go to the third one. Vocabulary could have been better with the use of more formal words okay you should for example instead of queries you should have written on questions okay that's one example so you should have used more formal words and synonyms all right instead of just copying from the from the case notes okay and then what's the next thing okay case notes could have been effectively organized the way you have organized was not up to the mark, unfortunately, okay? Mm. Overall task fulfillment could have been better. Okay, passive voice was not used at all in your letter. which actually makes your letter even more informal, which is not good. You should use passive voice form, okay? Then you have to represent the information, but you didn't do that. It's not good, I'm not quite happy with that. All right, and then most of the sentences were incomplete, okay? this The way you select the sentences wasn't good. And most of the sentences were incomplete, unfortunately. So, I mean, they have got, you know, inappropriate use of grammar, all right? Which includes the inappropriate use of articles, prepositions, blah, 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 okay? Presentation features, presentation features and layout were just okay. I mean, you were able to give enough space between two words apart from these ones, like do not, in case and so on. So you have given, you know, blank lines between two sections of the letter, which is good. I'm very happy with that. That's one of the good things. Uh, yeah, but that's not up to the mark because for some words you have joined them together, okay? So you didn't split them in between, like do not, you know, uh, what else, like these words, uh, there are other words as well, right? In case and so on, yes. that's not good. All right, now what do I need to do is, um, I just need to go through the case notes. I will. I will see whether you have applied all the case notes in your letter or not, okay? Let me go through the first page. All right, that's the first page. Okay, so occupational English test, writing subtest nursing, reading down five minutes, writing down 40 minutes, okay. Read the case notes, all right. You are a nurse at North Roman Infant Welfare Center. You visited this patient at home today for the first time after the referral from the maternity hospital. Um, name Gui Hong Ching. Um, date of birth 17, 5, 15, 3, that's okay. Gender female, that's all right. Home duties, that's okay. Recently migrated with a husband, three children um, from Vietnam to Australia, that's all right. Family background, husband works in factory, setting up small import business, okay. English at night school, all right. Remember that in the role play conversation, sorry, in the case notes, they will not provide appropriate articles, prepositions, and so on. These are the notes form only. You need to understand that, which means they are not grammatically correct. The notes that are mentioned in the case notes are not grammatically accurate, okay? Which means you need to 
identify the mistakes and correct them when you have to write down the letter. Remember that, please, okay? All right, children at school working hard to adjust, that's all right. Um, so you have repeated the same words again and again, like working hard, night school, you know. All yes, right. sir. Strong family commitments, again, the same words, that's not good. To school, study, increasing financial stability, learning English may not provide necessary assistance to overcome operation, manage new baby. Okay, you have used again the same thing. No other family in Australia. I think for this, you have used some synonyms. I'm happy with that. Uh, no operations, no illness. That's good. Six normal pregnancies previously. Oh my God, six. Huge. <laughs> Birth weight approximately 2.8 kilogram. Um, 10, uh, 7, 1992. Uh, incoordinate uh, contractions and inadequate outlets, society in section, that's okay, by the way, four kilogram approximately, that's all right. Result of recently improved diet and antenatal care. Seven circumstances, oh, sorry, probably due to, so this one is probably due to, circumstances not understood by patient, language barrier, cultural differences, okay, good. Mother, uh, switches removed, switches lines healed, baby, no jaw based breastfeeding, satisfactory, normal weight gain, mother, and child discharged from hospital. That's okay. First home visit. Okay, good. Most times since operation, depressed, and in bed, reasons unclear, but suspect due to circumstances of operation. Okay, all right. Let me go through the second case notes. Physically well, apparent uh, resist, uh, resistance to medical intervention in hospital, language barrier, requirements, uh, understanding of reasons for cesarean section. She didn't know. Okay, good. Home help, you have mentioned that. But did you mention this one, home help? Domestic chores or something? Hello? Uh, no, sir. Uh, yeah, you didn't do that. So no. you have mentioned the social worker. Uh, did you mention the social I worker? Social worker, yeah. I'm referring, I'm reading later to social worker. Oh, social yeah. worker only, yes. But yes. still, I think social home worker home. Needs, needs the home assistance also, isn't it? Uh, home assistance as well, yes. You need to include that in this case. Um, yeah, okay. Who is a Cambodian? Uh, it's not even correctly spelled, a Cambodian social worker with the Romans Council. So you have to mention. Hotran, comma, social worker, uh, and then in the next line, you have to write down Romans Council, okay? Introduce Mrs. Chung and explain why you are referring uh, her to the social worker. Discuss reasons for her depression and explain how you think Mrs. Tran can help. Okay, good. So you have to mention home help as well. Like, you know, you, 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 she needs to arrange someone, you know, who knows maybe, you know, uh, the patient's first language. I mean, a maid, okay, a worker. All right, do you understand what I mean? To help them out um, in do uh, domestic activities, like domestic chores, okay? Cleaning, cooking, and things like that. Yeah, I think this, this could have been done. You could have included that case note, but apart from that, I think it's all good. Yeah, I'm happy that uh, most of the case notes were included. Okay, yeah. All right, so... Most of the case notes were included. I'm happy with that. One case note was missing, okay? You could have added that, all right? But apart from that, it's okay. Expected score, see, I'm so strict. Okay, please don't be don't don't be disappointing. You know, if you, if I give you a score, okay, that is not what you're expecting. Okay, all right. Yeah. Don't get disappointed. Okay, see, identifying your mistakes is the first step to your success. Okay, if you if you understand where you're losing your marks, it's going to dramatically help you to improve your skills. Okay, all right. Anyone can improve. Okay, I have helped so many students who have scored D grade in the beginning. Um, but they have slowly improved to C and then C plus and then B. And finally, they got B grade in the original OET examination. So don't worry about these things. All right. Um, okay. So you have committed 39 mistakes. And unfortunately, most of them are the major ones. Okay. I mean, the, the ones with the vocabulary, spelling, grammar, and blah, blah, blah. So 
Unfortunately, this letter, according to me, see, I'm really strict, as I already told you. If you pass my assessment, you'll definitely pass your OET exam, okay? To me, this sounds like a D grade letter, unfortunately, okay? I can give you perhaps 220 out of 500 for this letter, okay? Yes, All right, don't worry you will be able to pass, okay? If you understand these mistakes and rectify them one by one every day, okay? Okay, sir. I hope you have enjoyed my assessment. Uh, how do you feel about the assessment now? Is it okay? Is it up to the mark? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, you know, after the assessment, um, how to improve, I learn to how to improve and where i should concern okay where i'm writing <clears throat> yes okay good that's a good question okay so firstly what do we need to do let's say <clears throat> you have committed these mistakes now you have to go back and identify these mistakes because now i have given you the the explanation okay so what you have to do is that you have to go back and find out these mistakes and try not to commit the same once again whenever you commit any mistakes you can write those mistakes at least uh, 20 times, okay? For example, if you commit a spelling mistake for a word, you have to write down that word with the correct spelling for 20 times, okay? Or at least 10 times in the beginning. But if you keep on committing yes. the same mistakes, you have to, um, you know, write them down once again, okay? For the sentences where you haven't placed the commas, you have to write down the full sentence with the commas and everything. And you have to underline the, the, the areas where uh, you have uh, missed. Say, for example, if you didn't place a comma, let's go through this one. If you didn't place a comma after, um, let's say, where is that? Um, okay, this one, therefore, okay? So you write on the whole sentence, and then yes, you sir. have to underline, you know, the commas, okay? You have to underline maybe using a red pen or a marker un um, underneath the comma so that next time you will not commit the mistake, okay? So this is how you need to do that. This is one of the... Okay, Best however, ways to improve. Mm, yeah. However, as well, yes, they, they are all connecting phrases. Okay, after every connecting phrase, you have to place a comma. I have already uploaded a video on my YouTube channel where you can see the use of uh, punctuation marks. Okay, so if you go through that, you'll be able to get to know more ideas on how to use punctuation marks such as commas and full stops effectively. Okay. Okay, sir. But uh, <clears throat> someone said that uh, well. Uh, we writing mm -hmm. and there in later there that is not important the comma is not important that's why i'm writing like this no 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 punctuation marks is one of the assessment criteria that come under presentation mm -hmm. features spelling and punctuation marks okay, okay so, so whatever i have assessed mm -hmm. are the parameters uh, that are going to be used in the real OET examination as well. So you need to be careful about these assessment parameters and try not to commit many mistakes under each of them. Okay, do you understand? Okay, sir. Sure. Right. Thank, Thank you so sir. much for your time. Yeah.